Welcome to Life Journey, Above and Beneath. I'm Theophilus Fernandez. How to handle a sexual addiction? How to handle a sexual addiction? I'm going to tell you how to handle a sexual addiction. How to handle it? These are three F's. And these three F's are very important. And these three F's is one, the last one is very important also. And the first one is, you gotta cut friends. Yes, cut friends that know that they are in it with you. Cut friends, my friend. I don't care if they've been a friend with you for a long time and you're always involved in, in sexual perversion. Cut friends, that's number one. Number two, turn off your Facebook. Deactivate your Facebook. Yes, deactivate your Facebook. Because this will trigger your addiction because there's, there's a lot of uh, uh, people that's on there that are very, per very, very, very freaky. Yes, they're very freaky. So if I was you, turn off your Facebook. Yeah, I'm a person that used to have Facebook. I'm my friend, I turn it off because if I used to, but I'm not now, why would I want to let something to trigger my addiction? So the best thing to do, my friend, cut your friends, Deactivate your Facebook. And the last one is to fast. Fasting just don't mean food only. Fasting means a commitment of, 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 of knowing that. Let, example, glory to God. Job said, I make, I make a covenant with my eyes. Job made a covenant with his eyes that he would not look upon the maid. So you have a, 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 a commitment to fast. And you're fasting Hey, glory to God is a commitment, glory to God, that you are not going to look upon a maid. You're going to look upon things that turn you on. And the fourth thing I must say, fantasy, you got to cut fantasy. You got to cut that moment of quietness. Quietness bring fantasy. What? Quietness bring fantasy to your flesh. And next thing you got to do, my friend, you gotta put the flesh under subjection. You gotta put your flesh under subjection. And it talk about it, it, this now is crucifying your flesh. Putting your flesh in its place. Hallelujah. Paul said, when I preach to other, I make myself a castaway. Let's go over this one time, my friend, because it's very important. I want you, I want you, glory to God, to be successful in cutting or destroying your sexual addiction and you must go to God cut your friends that's number one deactivate your Facebook hey go to God and the third thing you must do hey go to God is fast and identify also your fantasy fantasy start with quietness Hey, glory to God, you got to crucify your flesh. Because your flesh is a mess. Don't have confidence in your flesh. Your flesh that trigger your emotion. So these Fs will guarantee success with you building up your, per, your sexual addiction to, per, to, 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 to handle, glory to God, that, hallelujah, that fantasy, my friend. I'm talking about how to get rid of your addiction, sex addiction. I'm talking about sex addiction. You just love sex. Hallelujah. I don't care if it's glory to God, homosexuality, lesbianism, glory to God. You just love sex. And I'm telling you what to do. Cut those freaky friends. Cut friends that just do want just to have sex. Hallelujah, I don't care if it's homosexuality, I don't care if it's heterosexual, I don't care if it's bisexual, I don't care if it's pansexual. My friend, you got to cut those friends because the friends is bringing you down. 
Ha, glory to God. Hallelujah. They got to deactivate your Facebook. Too many freaks on Facebook. Too many breasts. Too many butts. Too many things that trigger your emotions. Hallelujah. And don't let the devil take you into a, a, a silent moment so you can fantasize. Because when you fantasize, it trigger your flesh. So the Bible says, crucify your flesh. Put your flesh under subjection. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I'm going to tell the people, the people that have sexual addiction, David, Solomon, Samson, they glory to God. These people, glory to God, they had sexual addiction. And my friend, Samson lost his eyes. Yes, Samson lost his eyes. And David, David lost his child. And Samson and Solomon died at age 40. So I'm telling you, you got to control, get rid of your sexual Addiction.